Hello guys! Welcome sa ating Z Knowledge TV. Sa AutoCAD video series na ito, I will introduce you the CAD software. Ang tutorial na ito ay para sa mga complete beginner in AutoCAD who has absolutely no knowledge to this software. So, dito sa AutoCAD video series, mag start tayo sa basics. Pag-aaralan natin ng AutoCAD user interface. Understanding the units, making basic drawings, we'll use object snaps to make precise drawings, working with layers and blocks, working with dimensions, and last, we'll print our drawing. So, lahat ng ito ay pag-aaralan natin dito sa ating tutorial. Pero, before tayo mag-start, don't forget to like this video and click the subscribe button para ma-notify kayo sa mga next videos. So, let's get started. Sa last videos natin, napag-aralan natin ng ilang paraan sa pag-input natin ng data sa pag-create natin ng basic drawing. Nariyan yung paggamit natin ng command line, coordinate systems, at dynamic input interface. Kaya kung hindi nyo pa napapanood o gusto nyo ulit balikan yung mga naunang videos natin, pwede nyo i-click ang link sa description box ng video ito. Okay? So, sa video na ito, atin naman pag-aaralan yung paggamit ng direct distance entry to create basic drawing. So, Direct distance entry is by far the easiest and quickest way to enter data while using the draw and modify commands. Pwede tayo magkapag-enter ng kahit anong distance value whenever the software prompts you to select a point. That point coordinates I cal calculated based sa angle of the cursor from the previous point selected and the distance you enter. It is a good idea to have polar tracking on when using this method. Okay? So, dito sa ating AutoCAD software. At dito ay makikita natin yung stats bar. Okay? Dito sa baba. So, dito. So, eto yun guys. Yung tinatawag natin na polar tracking. So, pwede natin itong i-on at i-off. So, pwede natin magamit itong method of data entry whether the dynamic input mode is on or off. So, ito yung mga guidelines kung paano gamitin ang direct distance entry. So, una, turn polar tracking on to display the cursor's angle. Second, set the desired incremental polar angles in polar tracking settings. Third, Enter the desired distance and press enter. Be sure that the accurate polar angle is displayed. Fourth, AutoCAD is accurate 14 places to the right of the decimal point. So therefore, it is important to enter the distance and use polar snap for absolute precision. Last, although turning dynamic input off limits the data fields displayed by your pointer. You may use direct distance entry with this feature on or off. So, mag-example tayo. Bali, the following steps gives an overview for using the direct distance entry method. Okay. So, next. Start tayo sa pag-create ng line. So, type natin ang line. Okay. Then, press enter. Okay. So, lalabas dyan yung specify first point. So, kahit saan dito guys, pwede nyo specify yung first point nyo. Okay? So, pwede dito. Yan. So, pero, uh, para maging malinis lang guys yung ating pagdodrawing nga, no, yung ating data. Okay? So, pwede natin i-off itong dynamic input. Yan. So, para malinis lang yung ating drawing area. Okay, so next, you are prompted to specify the next point. Okay, so may kita natin yung dito sa ating command line. So drag natin yung ating cursor 
pupunta kahit ang gusto ninyo pero dito sa dito drawing natin okay so drag natin yung cursor natin along zero axis na ito o zero angle na ito okay so let's say type i-type natin ang 30 then press enter Yan. so makakapag-create na tayo ng first line natin okay so next uh, tip lang so, para makapag-create tayo ng precise na angle, okay? So, dapat naka-turn on yung ating polar tracking. Okay? So, next, drag natin yung ating cursor along this uh, angle. Okay? So, type natin ang 30 ulit. Then, press enter. Yan. So, magkikrate naman siya ng another line. Okay. So, next. Yan. Along this angle. Yan. So, madali lang. Kasi, dahil sa tulong na ating polar tracking, nagkikrate siya o nagbibigay siya ng uh, angle na pwede natin maging guide. Okay. So, dito, type ulit natin ng 30. Yan. Then, press enter. So, yung geometry natin na ito, o yung drawing natin na ito, is kompleto na. So, dito, nakapag-create tayo ng uh, triangle. Okay? Para makapag-exit tayo sa command line. Okay? So, press lang natin yung enter. Okay? So, that's all. So, dito na nagtatapos ang discussion natin about how we can use direct distance entry at kung paano tayo makapag-input ng data kapag mag-create tayo ng drawing. Okay? So, sa ating next video ay ating pag-aaralan kung paano makakapag-create ng basic objects. So, see you sa ating next videos. At para sa iba pang videos na gusto nyo pang maunawaan o malaman about sa AutoCAD, so, huwag nyo kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-click ang bell para maging updated kayo sa ating mga next videos. So, maraming salamat!